Hello guys and welcome, this is the I play 4K and in this video today I decided to go ahead and show you Call of Duty Infinity Warfare running on a single Titan X Pascal GPU architecture video card and we're running today in 4K resolution maximum visuals but anti-aliasing will be off, that's pretty much it but everything else will be maxed out let's go ahead and have a look how the, bell, uh, how the Call of Duty Infinity Warfare look like, shall we? I just picked up the weapon. Keep in mind the purpose of this video is not the gameplay. I'm stuck. I'm just trying guys. This is my first time and the purpose of this video is to show you the performance. How the game runs on 4K resolution with the top of the line and video video card which is the Titan X Pascal GP architecture video card. Let me real quick go ahead and show you my settings. Pretty much everything maxed out at 4K, as you can see, anti-aliasing will be off, okay? But game definitely needs some anti-aliasing, guys. I'm just going to share some facts with you during this gameplay. Please don't, don't take it negatively. I'm just sharing, you know, the experience and uh, the truth, the reality. I'm a little bit disappointed of the Call of Duty. To be honest with you, uh, this is... The game that was released in November 2016, but it doesn't look like so. It's almost look like a Call of Duty 4 that was released back in 2007, but with a futuristic kind of look to it. The 4K resolution also needs some anti-aliasing, and it has the overwhelming negative rating on Steam as well. I purchased this game mostly for the remaster uh, gameplays because I really love the remaster. I mean, I really love the Call of Duty 4, and um, hopefully the remaster is going to look much better than Call of Duty 4 original, and I'm going to have some fun. I didn't play it yet. As I told you, I just loaded the game, played about 30 minutes, and then I decided to go ahead and share some experience with you. This is the second level when after our heli got crushed, and here we go. I think they still using the same engine which is Call of Duty 4 throughout the years and they gotta they gotta move from that man because they just killing the experience by by a lot. They gotta move and they gotta show what Call of Duty is all about because it's a strong title and I think you know they're not they're not right by doing that. They're just killing their reputation. But as again, liberistic companies such as Infinity Wars, and yeah, this is what you're getting when you're a gamer. They're kind of, you know, they kind of, we can do this, you know, and this is what we're gonna do. Alright, enough of negative talks. Let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you the real stuff. So I'm running the. Uh, Titan X Pascal GP architecture single video card, but as you can see on the stats at the left top, I have more than a single video card. Has I have two of them right now installed, but the problem is Call of Duty Infinity Warfare doesn't support SLI. And today is February 2017, about three months after the game was released, and uh, I'm using the latest Nvidia driver, so it look like. You know, in the future, we're not gonna have any SLI support. Too bad. And when you're running this game in SLI, when it's not supported, you better disable it because your FPS will be about with the same system with the Titan X Pascal GP architecture. My FPS like 65-45 FPS. So keep that in mind. And right now, I'm going to be about, as you can see, 88-96 FPS average, which is very playable and enjoyable experience, by the way, right now. But the game has again needs some anti-aliasing because the edges would be horrible. Keep that in mind, guys. Okay, the game is also ridiculous hard and uh, keep that in mind as well, guys. It's not easy. Oh yeah, you just throw out the grenade on me. Man, you kidding me? Look at that. And look like they just increase the damage the player can receive in the gameplay. 
Same game engine. Same when you're killing your enemy, just shooting you back. It's just from Nazis, Call of Duty 2. They're just using the same kind of algorithms all over. And I think it needs to be changed. They gotta innovate and bring something new because, come on, it's a multi billion dollar company, guys. As you can see, my GPU scalability when it's not running as a single video card is 99%, which is excellent. Almost 100 FPS. I'm recording with a shadow play, so you can add 3 FPS. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So it's almost 100 FPS. Plus 3 FPS without the shadow play recording, so you're going to enjoy it. 4K with this single Titan X Pestle GPU architecture or GTX 1080 will be required to play this game at 4K resolution. 60 FPS and above. Keep that in mind, guys. With the GTX 1070, you're going to receive not solid 60 fps as again the purpose of this video to show you the gameplay the purpose of this video is not to show you the you know the i mean not the gameplay the purpose of this video to show you the performance sorry about that um english is not my first language and i'm commenting in real time so it's kind of hard i gotta focus by a lot Jesus, they're just throwing the grenades. Laura, grenades after grenades after grenades. I'm a little bit disappointed of this version, but as again, I got it due to Call of Duty 4. And hopefully, it's going to look much better than Call of Duty 4 Classic. And I'm going to play my favorite sniper mission, I just cannot fade and share it with you guys and hopefully the performance will be much better too because I, I tested that AK guys AK resolution uh, single Titan X fast GP architecture my FPS will be 25-35 uh, FPS so it's unplayable I mean, when it becomes below 30 and Call of Duty come on it's definitely unplayable unless you're an Intel GPUs which those folks will probably pick it up and play it but as again it's unplayable come on it's just a joke too bad that SLI is not supported as again, but it is what it is, guys. There's maybe some possibilities to enable the SLI by heavily, heavily tweaking the game, but as again, who needs that? Regular consumer will not have that ability. So I'm showing you from the eyes of the regular consumer some experience. I'm showing the experience from the regular consumer as well, guys. As again, we're playing 4K maxed out. Anti-aliasing will be off. Everything else will be maxed out. Look at that. On the video, you're not gonna see that game needs the anti-aliasing a lot at 4K resolution, but it is, guys. And this is horrible when the game at 4K resolution, running 4K resolution, needs the anti-aliasing, guys. I'm about to wrap up by now. As again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. As again, this was, I believe, a second level after our heli crashed, and the, the first level didn't have a lot of models with the polygons, so it pretty much demonstrates you the performance of the game. With the GTX 1080, you're going to receive about by 20 FPS lower than that, 20 15 FPS lower than that. Keep in mind, my Titan X was uh, Pascal GPU architecture was overclocked by 130 megahertz on the GPU and 260 megahertz on the VRAM. Oh Jesus, I wasn't ready for this, oh my god! Por que trabaja muchacho? Hasta mañana! Wow, it has robots, it has everything guys, alright? Alright, thank you so much for watching, let me real quick go ahead and show you my settings as again and I'm going to wrap up. Oops, not that. Here we go. As you can see, maximum possible visuals. Anti-aliasing will be off. Everything else will be maximum possible visuals. Desolation will be applied not to the characters, but to to the whole world, to everything. Solid, solid experience, guys. So you're going to enjoy. 85 slash 96 FPS average. And the campaign will be hard, which is unusual for Call of Duty. Ba bomb. We got some boom over there. Oh yeah, those robots easy to kill. Much easier than those 
folks out there, the other AI. Look at that, there's some physics, yeah, you can shoot some bananas and stuff like that with the melons, but that's about it. Can we shoot the glass? I'm just curious. The Call of Duty that was released in 2016. Yep, you cannot. At least that. Alright guys, I have some surprise for you. There's going to be a lot of boom boom right there. As again, feeling like 2007 Call of Duty, but kind of in some futuristic kind of lookish. Commander. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I play 4K. Don't forget to smash that like button. As again, it's not about the hate. It's about to sharing the, the real life experience with you. So you're going to create the right choices in life. Alright? And I will see you till the next time. Peace!